Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everybody. Welcome back to PMC 500 Statistical Reasoning in Education. So we are going to discuss again with analysis of variance or ANOVA. I am Dr. Nur Asniza Isha. So our objective for this lecture would be the third one the, or the third objective which, which is to analyze and interpret data of one-way ANOVA using SPSS. So we have covered the first objective to know what is one way ANOVA and then we have discussed the post hoc test comparing using multiple comparison and now we're going to look at how to analyze and interpret data of one way ANOVA using SPSS. So with me now I have two examples. So for this lecture I'm going to look at the first example which is example one where we're going to look at the data of a university employment office which wants to compare the time, which is in days, taken by graduate with three different majors to find their first job after graduation. So we have three different majors, which are business, computer science, and engineering. And what we did was, in this research, we, uh, we tried to find their first job after graduation. So how many days does it take for the graduates to find their first job after graduation based on three different majors which are business, computer science and engineering. And then in this research what we need to do first is to state the null and alternative hypothesis and what is your decision? If the null hypothesis is rejected, identify which group is differ and what is the conclusion that we can make after we run the analysis using SPSS. So before performing to test, start with graphical and numerical summaries of the data. Yeah, so this is the data or the table showing three different majors, business, computer science and engineering. These are all the sample taken where we, uh, we discover the days, yeah, the days to find their first job after graduation for all the three majors. Right, our first task is to write the, st uh, the null and alternative hypothesis. So the, there are two ways of writing the null hypothesis, by using symbols and by using sentences. So I decide to choose uh, to write the null hypothesis, hypothesis using sentences. So for the null hypothesis, there is no significant differences among the mean time taken in day by graduate with three different majors to find their first job after graduation. While the alternative hypothesis would be there is a significant differences among the mean time taken, which is in day by graduates with three different majors to find their first job after graduation. So the null hypothesis say there is no significant difference, but the alternative hypothesis say that there is a significant difference among uh, the graduate, yeah, among the graduate for taking their first or getting their first job. So how can we analyze using general linear model for one way and far? We go to analyze in the SPSS menu bar, choose general linear model, Choose univariate and then in the univariate dialog box, key in or insert the dependent variable as well as the independent variable and then choose options and please insert major into display mean for and for the display, choose descriptive statistic, estimates of effect size and homogeneity test so that you will run um, assumptions for one way and well, and make sure that the significant level is at 0 0.05 for alpha value. And then you just click continue and then click OK. So after you have a key in the data, analyze using one-way ANOVA. And this will be the output for the one-way ANOVA using SPSS. First, you will see a between subject factors. Remember, in one-way ANOVA, you can choose to analyze between subject or within subject. So in this case, we're going to look at between subject factors, list how many subjects there are in each level of the factor. In this case, we have three levels for three different majors, which are business, computer science, and engineering. It shows how many samples involved. For business, eight samples, computer science, seven, and engineering, six samples involved. And after between subject factors, you will see another output displaying the descriptive statistic which show the mean standard deviation of the three different majors. And from here, you can see that the highest mean belongs to business. Compared, uh, secondly, will be computer science, 
and thirdly would be engineering. So we say graduate with major in business seems better in getting their first job after graduation. Is it correct? There's, there's 51 referring to what? So 51 referring to the days. Remember how many days taken for them to get their first job. So the conclusion I made here, graduate with major in business seems better in getting their first job after graduation is wrong. Actually, the computer science seems to have um, better in getting their first job after graduation because approximately it only took 33 days for them to get their first job after graduation. Followed by computer science would be engineering and finally would be business. Right, then after that, you will see an output of Levine test of equality of error variances. This is important to identify the homogeneity of your variance as one of the assumptions that you have to fulfill under one-way ANOVA. So what we want here under this uh, output would be the p-value is more than 0 0.05. So here, the p-value or the significant value would be 0 0.0833, which indicates more than 0 0.05. Therefore, the three groups, which are business, computer science, and engineering, have equal variance and you have fulfilled the assumptions to run a one-way ANOVA. Next, what you can see is that is the test of between subject effect where first you need to look at the third row which is the major uh, referring to the three different majors and look at the p-value. So here the p-value is 0.152. So what does 0.152 mean? It means that it is more than 0 0.05. Therefore, the null hypothesis fail to reject because in order to reject the null hypothesis, the p-value should be less than 0 0.05. Hence, there is no significant differences among the mean and time taken in day by graduate with three different ma majors to find their first job after graduation. So if you look previously from the descriptive statistics, it shows that as if there is difference because the mean value is different for the three majors. But when we run the inferential statistic, it showed that there is no significant differences among the mean time taken for graduate to get their first job after graduation. And after you report the p-value, don't forget to look at the partial eta squared to look at how much is the effect of the independent variable towards the dependent variables. So here, the partial eta squared is 0.189. So if we transfer it or we convert it into percentage, it shows that approximately 19% of the variance of the dependent variable is associated with the group factor. So according to the rule of thumb, when the value is 14% above or 0 0.14 and above, it shows that it could it have a large effect. Right, don't forget to draw a graph or group mean in SPSS like what I told you in the previous uh, uh, lecture. So here, the step is the same, but you need to go to plot, yeah, and then you need to draw a profile plot where you insert major into horizontal axis, and then you click continue, continue. So just click or drag major into horizontal axis, and then just click continue, and then click OK. So the output of the graph show that this table displays the model estimated marginal mean and standard error of time taken in days at the factor level of graduates major. Yeah? So this table is useful for exploring the differences between the level of this factor. And in this example, a graduate who are major in computer science is expected to get their first job in 33 days after graduation. And those who are major in business and engineering are expected to get their first job considerably, considerably more. Yeah. So first one will be computer science, second one will be engineering, and the last major to get the first job will be business. So the estimated marginal means plot is a visual representation of what we saw in the compare means output. So it's much easier to see from this graph uh, that the computer science graduate, this is computer science graduate, has the lowest time taken in days in getting their first job after graduate while the business and engineering graduate had higher time taken in days in getting their first job after graduation. So, computer science is the first major for graduate to get the first job after the graduation, followed by engineering and finally by 
business. So looking at profile plot is much easier for you to understand compared to the tables itself. Right, do we need post hoc tests? Okay, because uh, we have already got the analysis of ANOVA. So we want to know, do we need to run post hoc test? Why? And what will be your conclusion? And finally, how to write a report using APA style. So a one-way ANOVA was performed, comparing the mean time taken in day by graduate with three different majors to find their first job after graduation. And from the result, it showed that um, the result revealed that the mean time taken in day by business graduate is 51, computer science is 31.1, and engineering is 49.7. Are uh, significantly no difference. There is no significant difference between the two majors in order to get the first job after graduation because the p-value is more than 0.05. Thus, the finding indicated that major status has no effect on time taken for graduates in getting their first job after graduation. So this is the way of how you report the one-way ANOVA. Begin with the discrete statistic and follow by the one-way ANOVA itself. So thank you very much for the first example using one-way ANOVA. Okay.